You can also use the motion analysis tool direct from the balancing and process analysis area here. So let's say you want to look at this aside and get next here. You can uh, you can play it back by clicking on it here. And it's just a guy uh, going to pick up another part and then bringing it back. Now this is a slightly different video. There's only 12 inches distance here. You can't see it here between the, uh, the parts and the machine here. So what we're going to do is we're going to analyze that. So I might come in here. I can hit the right button. I can say insert a task up here. It's going to be my uh, comparison. And then we're going to open that up here. Make space for it here. Hit the right button. I can call my quick times. Now we can actually build up a whole sequence of events here, but we're only going to focus on the aside and get next. So we can double click here. And let's say it was getting a single part. So we could get a single part. Uh, 12 inches away and then he's going to place it with an exact fit 12 inches and you can see my value here is 2.84 so we can just give it a description here aside and bring next part to machine all right and then we just click on the save it adds it here now this could be one of many steps that you can put together right here but if i then go send, save to balance it sticks it back in here. Now I want to get it to line up with this one. So I could use a feature called a mark, which just draws a line across here and tell it to start from mark. And you can see it lines these two times up here. So this value here, you can see my motion description and my motion sequence in the time of 2.84. And that compares to the time over here of 2.86. So these two are essentially the same here. So the method that the operator is doing is very close to the method identified by the standard data or the predetermined time system. Now, you can actually do the same thing uh, without having to use the quick times. So here we are back with the original process. Maybe this comes from engineering and you want to compare uh, how your uh, predetermined time system might stack up with it. You can go here at the reports at the top here and a new ribbon appears and you can do a motion analysis. And what this will do, this will send out the information to a sheet that you can use to enter your own data into. So you can see this is the information coming from the uh, uh, from the process itself. So down here you can see here's my site and get next. There's the time for it there. And we can play that back right there. And you can see it playing back, guy bringing it back here. Now, if you have your own predetermined time system, you can come over here and just describe what's involved there. So maybe you say, uh, and you say get next part and bring to machine. Okay, and then maybe you've got a coding system for this. So this might be say, uh, so it might be get 12, uh, move 12, PLE, right? And maybe the time for that happened to be uh, 2.93. So you get, now you get your time matching up against the time that came from the uh, engineers here. And it might be a little different. So you can do that just by typing your own data in here. And then when you do that, if you fill out all of this data you sent to balance, what will actually happen is you will get two bars for each of the activities. So you'll have the engineered standard here, and you would have your own uh, standard put together from your own sources right here, side by side here. And we'll show you that in the next video.